Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have new major update regarding the Quan Image Edit Plus model named Quan Image Edit 2511, which was released this week. And guess what? It claimed to be better than its predecessors in terms of prompt adherence and image editing capabilities. Thanks to the Comfy Y team, we have most of the version of this model, including the GGUF, the FP8, and the BF16 version. So in this tutorial, I will try to test out this model with you and see its new feature for image editing. So without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. So this Quen Edit model was trained to enhance some functionalities like the character consistency, some LoRa integration that we saw in Quen Image Edit Plus, like the relighting LoRa or camera angle uh, LoRa for image generation. And also we have new industry design features which allows you to create four panel from a single image with a single prompt and also the texture transfer. So using this native version of the Comfy Y workflow, I will test out different use cases like post transfer, character consistency, photorealism, object removal, the 3D figure uh, creation, recoloring uh, features, image quality enhancement, the relight, the style uh, and texture transfer, the text changing, and finally the camera changing. And in order to do that, the first thing is to open up Comfy Y, go to the manager, and here you can update Comfy Y in order to use the new workflow provided for this Quen image model. If uh, this doesn't work for you, you can always try to run the update on the Comfy Y root folder. Search here for the update uh, subfolder and make sure to open up this update Comfy Y. Once it is done, make sure to restart your Comfy Y. Then go to the Comfy Y browser templates and you can clearly see the Quen image edit plus here. Of course, you have to download some uh, necessary model if it is the first time for you, so you will need to download everything from the beginning, starting with the VAE text encoder, which is named Quen 2.5 VL, and also the main diffusion model, like the Quen uh, Image Edit 2511. We have the BX16 uh, version link here, but you can also download the FP8 version using this hugging face link. Make sure to go to file and version and download the, your model here. So we also have uh, uh, four steps Laura created by the Lightning uh, team, and you can use this link in order to download it. Once it is done, make sure to place every model under the main uh, or the destination folder. Like for example, here we have the text encoder that goes under uh, the uh, text encoder subfolder. We have the Laura. Make sure to place under Laura model. Let me show you here. Just make sure to enter Comfy Y root folder and search for model. And here you can find all the necessary uh, subfolder for your uh, workflow. So we have the VAE, the clip. Make sure to place your text encoder here. Also have uh, the diffusion model where we're gonna put uh, the BF16 version or the FP8. However, if you have a low VRAM, you can always use the GGOF version of this model. And the best way to do that is using this link here and you can clearly see that we have a different version starting with the Q2 until the Q8 and we also have the F16 and the BF16 GGWF version of the, the, the same model of course the main difference remain on the, the model weight here as you can see the BF16 has 14 gigabyte of weight however the other version are less heavy so uh, during my test I used the Q5 version we are using the RTX uh, 3066 gigabyte of VRAM and it managed to work perfectly fine uh, without running out of VRAM. Once you download the TRGG web version, make sure to go to unit subfolder and paste your model here. Okay, now we have everything. Let's see what the workflow is composed of. Okay, for the workflow, it is a very simple workflow and it resembles the previous Quen Image Edit Plus uh, workflow. We have here our load images. We can still uh, manage to enter three images. However, for the first image, you, you can uh, use this image scale to total pixel nodes. And uh, the main difference uh, is clearly set here on the megapixel, where we can edit uh, images with the higher resolution. And it is a very good thing to know, since with the Quen Image Edit Plus, we were stuck to one megapixel. Using higher value of one megapixel will give you bad results and create some artifact during the process. We also have the VAE encode in order to encode our images and create our latent for the key sampling. Okay, for the models, we have the diffusion models uh, if you want the BF16 version. You can also select the FP8 version here if you downloaded one. For the weight type, 
you can leave it as default. However, since I have a 30 series graphic card, I always use the FB8 E5 M2. Here we have our load LoRa model where we can add this this one image lightning four steps version. And I strongly suggest you to activate that in order to reduce the generation time while editing your images. For the load clip and the VAE, make sure to only select those uh, models. And then we have our prompt uh, text encoder here. As you can see, we still have the negative and the positive text encode. After that, we have a new nodes, which is the edit model reference method. And uh, we have three different parameters here, like the offset, the index, the UNO, and index time step zero. I did not test those uh, parameters. However, I found out that using the index time step zero will give you the best results, especially while doing some uh, photorealism or uh, editing in some use cases. So make sure that it is set to index time step zero for both positive and negative prompts. For the model, we have uh, always this model sampling Quora flow and CFG norm in order to give you a better accuracy and results. And for the key sampler here, you can clearly uh, pay attention to the steps. It is set to 20 with the CFG of 4. However, if you scroll down a little bit here, you can clearly see a table with different uh, different steps and CFG. So by default, the, the steps are set to 20 and the CFG is set to 4. Of course, you, you can try a higher uh, value of steps uh, you, if you want or you, if you have a lot of VRAM. But using the Lightning LoRa, it managed to give you the same results using only 4 steps and the CFG of 1. So that's why I uh, strongly suggested you to use this Lightning LoRa in order to gain time. For the simpler name, it is set to, to Euler and uh, we are using uh, Simple Scheduler. Okay, once it is done, your results is going to be decoded here using the VAE model. Then the, uh, the images will be saved in CompyY folder. So as I suggested you in the introduction, we are going to use different use cases like the, those one uh, on the list here. And to do that, we are going to use also different prompt. So the first use cases is the change character pose. And all I have to do here is copy and paste this prompt here. Then use different images. Make sure to enable the second image. And for example, I want to transfer the pose from this image, the second image to the pose of the first image. All I have to do is using this prompt, then click run. So it is as simple as that. And I will do the same for all other use cases. Every use case has its own prompt here. If you use, of course, my workflow, you will find all those uh, prompts, like the character consistency, the photorealism, the object removal, the convert uh, to 3D figure, recoloring, the image quality enhancement, the relighting, the style transfer, the texture transfer, the text changing, and etc. So all you have to do is drop and drag my workflow then use directly the prompt some cases needed two images and some cases like the style transfer doesn't uh, uh, only need one image so make sure to enable uh, the second image by using the control and b and if you want to disable it you can also use the same uh, combination of keyword okay during my first test i started with this image and i wanted to change the style of the image and test out this model capability the first results was tested using the van gogh style prompt as you can see, it managed to change the style of the image and created this uh, noisy pattern uh, from Van Gogh style painting. Here, another example, which looks more, uh, much closer to Van Gogh style. I did it with different uh, seed. Then I also asked for the drawing version of this image, Ghibli style and an anim style version. You can clearly see that uh, it can uh, do style transfer without any other problems or uh, image shifting, which was also the case for the previous version of this Quinn image edit. Next, I used this image. I asked for green uh, dress and it created me this image, which is very good, by the way. Then I uploaded a second image, like I show you here. And on this second image, I used uh, the, an image of uh, fabric patterns. And I asked for uh, the coin image edit plus to transfer this pattern into the dress of the lady. And I get this result, which is very good. It looks very consistent. It did not change uh, the quality of the image. And it is very acceptable. I also did that with another image. And uh, you can clearly see that it adapts to every type of uh, clothes texture. The same goes here for this uh, lady. 
it managed to transfer the pattern and the texture to the dress without any issue. Next, I use this uh, bad uh, resolution image. As you can see, it is an anim character and the image resolution looks very low. In order to obtain this results, as you can see, it managed to upscale uh, my image and it has the quality without any other upscaling process, which looks very good, by the way. You can see here the resolution uh, was uh, increased as much as the quality. The, the main reason behind the image resolution upscaling is this uh, image scale uh, nodes, which try to increase it while keeping the same proportion. However, the image quality enhancement was due to the model itself. I did the same test with another images. The result doesn't, doesn't look so much um, important, but it is still uh, impressive compared to other image editing model. And it is the first time that I saw this uh, capability for image editing model, and uh, which is quite impressive. The next test was regarding the relighting uh, capability of the model. And to do that, I used this uh, image of it on TV. Then using my prompt, I managed to obtain this results. I asked for a soft diffuse light that comes from the window and it managed to create this, which is very good by the way. I did the same using this image and the same prompt and the model managed to give me this results, which is very acceptable too. Another relighting test that I did with this image, I obtained this results. Then I tried to add a light pattern as a second image and it also gave me this incredible results. You can clearly see that uh, this model have uh, good uh, relighting capabilities. You can, of course, uh, adding uh, relighting using a prompt or using a second image as a relighting model. The next example is the style uh, changing. I wanted to test out uh, the style transfer using the second image as a reference for style. So using this second uh, image as a style reference image, I managed to obtain this first results. Then I entered different images as a reference uh, style image. For the second test, uh, I obtained this result, which is very bad. It changes the woman to a man. Then it managed to give me this as a second result. I still have the character in the background. However, for all other uh, images, uh, it managed to give me a good results. To fix that, make sure to select the right resolution of uh, your second images uh, as a reference. Now let's jump to the background light changing. As you can see, using uh, an input image, I managed to change the, uh, the, the lighting of the image to a sunset, then to daytime, to daylight, while uh, keeping the same character uh, consistency, which is also very good for the future. Now uh, let's talk about uh, the character poses. I wanted to change the pose of a character and it did not work. It created some artifact like uh, this one, for example, here. I wanted to change the pose of the man in a suit using this second image uh, that was included here. And the results was not so much satisfying. Okay, the same, the same goes for the photorealistic uh, style changes. Uh, I did not manage to obtain a good result since all the, the characters look, have some plastic skins and uh, very bad uh, noisy uh, quality, as you can see here and here. In some cases, it also created a 3D character instead of photorealistic one. So they managed to lose its ability to create photorealistic style compared to the previous model, which was really good at doing that. However, we have a new feature that I also liked, which is converting to 3D figuring plastics. And it managed to do it easily, as you can see here. Uh, it converted the image to 3D figure. However, uh, it did not uh, copy uh, all the, the details like the poses but using other images it managed to create a 3d plastic figure easily next let's jump on to the camera movement or rotation as you can see it managed to rotate the camera and create multiple angles without any imperfection and it is one of the best uh, features of this model too side with the relighting for the character consistency you can see that it can also give you acceptable results however the main default remain in the, in the image quality which created a very low quality images, even if we still manage to keep the consistency of the image. In conclusion, we, I must uh, admit that this Quen Image Edit uh, 2511 has a better prompt adherence, where I managed to obtain all those results only using simple prompts and tag words, as you can see here. However, it has also some disadvantage, like uh, the image quality, the plastic skin created with the characters, which was not the case for the previous model. But it also has some advantage, like style transfer, the texture transfer, 
the camera changing the real light capability which was also very good uh, we also can convert it to uh, images uh, to 3d figure and uh, all those uh, capability was not included in previous uh, quan image edit plus model so i really hope that uh, it, they will uh, do some update or add some additional fix in order to obtain a perfect good model for uh, image editing compared to all previous uh, model that we saw okay that's it for today's tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel leave me some comments down below and don't forget to become a patreon member of my patreon page where you can get early access to my workflow thank you